well welcome to another video brian's law maintenance here today we're showing you guys just a quick little walk around on the p2000 blower this is the one of the hurricane blowers from billy goat uh sponsored video and thanks for the partnership with those guys so this right here we're going to be uh, tackling one of our uh, hoas we've got a huge field over here uh normally we spend all day leaf blowing and vacuuming and just dumping them in the wood line uh today we're going to be rocking the hurricane so Quick stats, I know a lot of you guys love the stats. Uh, over 3,500 CFM, 150 miles per hour, weighs about 650 pounds, and you can get it through a 36 inch gate. All right, how cool is that? So this one here is the, the in-betweener from like the walk behind units that Billy Goat has, all the way up to the big dog like X3000 and Z3000, okay? So those are 10, 12, 13 gram. Uh, this one is in the middle there, I think around the eights, don't quote me, uh, but we're gonna show you guys it in action and in use today. By the way, five gallon fuel tank, so you got plenty of fuel. Uh, usually a gallon per hour, they say, for some of these engines. So that's five hours plus of use for the day. I think this would be a really good addition to anybody that is serious about their leaf cleanup game. You want to jump on, bro, and show these guys really quick how this thing works? Yeah, I'm excited. We've already put it through the ringer a little bit. We're both like excited because it's actually pretty dope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, uh, start it up if you don't mind, and I'll uh, meet you over there in the field, dude. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Holy cow. Okay, <laughs> dude, that is so cool. That was nice. Dude, I what? Normally that takes us an hour. I was gonna say that least. usually takes us at least somewhat an hour just to do this area. Just, just that, because now, granted, only half to... of the leaves are down, but they're dry and, dude, like I didn't stop recording the whole no, time. No, yeah, that was 
like perfect honestly like what that took us maybe like five minutes it was four and a half minutes to just do that whole section bro. just that i mean that is holy cow like 45 to 50 minutes quicker than at least a, our usual setup that we have wow i mean it's kind of like a no-brainer to a degree because it's like a sand on leaf blower well yeah it's a big blower obviously it's not a backpack blower but still like that was i enjoyed that a lot i didn't even stop recording i literally thought it was going to take a half hour and we're going to have to like do some work and all this other mess um so we actually uh, are obligated we got to do this whole field here as you guys can see and then this one here as well and then the, the boulevard so we might even be able to get some of that out there as well might have to redo this whole spot normally we would just mulch this up or bag them up and then dump we can actually uh, designated little dump out spot over here for us for the hoa but dude you just knocked that out first time no oh, yeah. experience now, haven't used this machine before and that took five freaking minutes five minutes and that's usually two of us for an hour that's two hours yeah. of labor so there's already fifty dollars plus in labor cost uh just saved right off the top oh yeah no that wow dude i can't be any more honest shooting this video like what else do you need i mean i don't want to make this video like 20 minutes long just to prove a point but that was nice that was nice and this is a little teeny tiny uh, little hoa section that we got to do we have a, two or three big patches like this it normally takes us uh, about six hours to do this whole thing with all the islands that we got to clean up and the courts um Dude, I'm like so, I don't know what else to say. Like, no, dude, the, I, neither do I. I that was I actually made pretty that sweet. First pass, and I saw all the leaves just blown over making that wave. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is going to be nice. And as I just kept on going down, I was like, man, this, not this bad. is nice. You, uh, so we don't, we're not obligated to do anything over here, but do you want to try to just clean this wood line up? We can just shoot it in. Just all, the rest of this little. Minute. Let's get this whole spot over here because there's uh, some heavy leaves on this. I don't want. Of course, if we do it once, you're like, why didn't you do the rest of it, yeah. right? That whole deal, just having fun. Um, why don't you just go from like, uh, just like this tree in the keep out danger sign over here. We'll just try to blow all this into the wood line because I think we'll be able to knock that out in another five minutes. Yeah. Just, I mean, let's I see how it works. All right. all right, go for it, bro.
All right, so that was another what? Maybe 10 minutes? About, yeah, maybe. Wow. I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, That's first thing for me I can say is the learning curve is just the foot pedal. Just okay. Trying to get it back and forth. Show, show me the foot pedal. You uh, got more time on this now than anybody yeah, I know. So the pedal itself right here. Okay. You can press it on the right side. That's now going to shoot air out the right side of the unit. Press it on the left side. Okay. Left side of the unit. And then if you level it out like that, that will stop airflow from both ways. Okay. There you go. There you so go. Wow. That's the only thing that kind of took me a minute to figure out, as you probably saw a couple times. I yeah. Blew things the wrong way. And that's just because. Get used to, to it. Around, figure it out. So this one right here, uh, it's a 36 inch. The tires are a little um narrow they're tall which is great but they're a little narrow i saw you sliding a little bit over there in the beginning yeah, there was a spot over there started getting a little wet i was like eh, back it up a little sure bit. uh but to keep that 36 inch profile i doubt they can go any wider it seems like the tires might be the widest part of the mower by about a half inch uh other than this beefy muffler this right here um i don't know if there's a way to like divert this to the other side the exhaust is right here anyway, but maybe they don't want it by the fuel or maybe it's too tight here as you guys can see. Uh, I don't really like this hanging off that much. Um, that has got the potential to get clipped. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue. It's just a little nitpick there, I guess. Um, dude, I think it's pretty sweet though, man. I enjoyed it I, a lot. I'm like watching you do this and I'm like, dude, dry leaves, number one. Thank God for dry leaves. But number two, holy cow productivity and efficiency oh yeah that it was just blowing waves yeah the uh, one thing i'll say that i noticed is that there's no uh front uh blower so on the bigger unit the z3 and the x3 okay. there's a front mount now when you're going against this like wood line fence line yeah uh you can't really you'd have to get a handheld blower or a leaf blower backpack yeah. blower get along with this edge here because that's right you so, have this much space that you know you can't get yep so you're going to need to uh re remember that this is a, a solid Two and a half feet maybe yeah this is a budget version eight grand budget right <laughs> of uh the big one but the big one the z3 and the x3 have the front discharge which is very useful and practical especially with like paths and walkways um i think we're gonna button up right here uh the proof is in the pudding guys um not here to sell or convince you to you know pur purchase one of these if you do or you have uh please leave me some comments down below or maybe you have a z3 or an x3 i'd love to hear your guys thoughts one last thing i'll show you was the battery compartment is up front uh you have these two twist knobs and the inside is the black cap. Uh, we just took that off a quick second ago just to see what was under there. So your battery is pretty accessible, which is nice. And by the way, don't just think leaf blowers for you know spring or fall. A lot of guys do asphalt and all that mess, or you know parks and rec. You know for eight grand, this is a scaled down. Saves you a four or five grand off the top from the big dog unit. Oh, it worked great. <laughs> are, you, are you? Are we buying one or what? Uh, are we? That's. I mean, the, <laughs> about I, I'm that. not the one with the money for the business. You are. I don't. I can't make those purchases. <laughs> well, I think if uh, if we did, or if Rob was able to, would you give it two thumbs up? It's, it's Foreman Rob approved. Foreman Rob approved. Boom, dude. We should get like a uh, a seal or something like that. So, all right, good job, bud. Uh, all right, if you guys want more info, we'll leave links in the description for uh, Hurricane and Billy Goat. But appreciate them partnering up with us again, and uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you guys more here on the next one. One quick thing uh, you were just saying is that you could keep the profile of it sideways for 36 inches in the trailer. That's actually not a bad thought at all. No, yeah, because we were talking about if we even had one, if we would even be able to fit it with our mowers and yeah. this in there. And I was like, probably if we didn't have the bagger on right. and had the other mower in and we were able to scooch everything up a little bit, I feel like we might just be able to get this guy in here as well, especially yeah. sideways like this. Well, if you have a utility trailer, maybe... Uh six and a half by 14 or seven by 14 this trailer is 16 feet long so you got a bit of space so you could definitely fit a mower with a bagger and this on top of your rig uh, or in your rig if you had a 14 foot trailer or if you had probably an 18 foot trailer you could probably get a secondary mower in there so a mower mower bagger and then the stand on blower so anyway we just wanted to include this really quick uh rob made a good point he's like hey we probably can't always fit everything in this way but with these compact standards being 36 inch uh if you put them in sideways not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. All right. There you go, guys. We'll see ya.